open up Lightroom and I go ahead and uh, download the pictures, uh, either copying them into them or adding them into uh, the uh, folders. Um, I then go in, uh, <clears throat> once they've uploaded, I go ahead and, uh, and pick through and I delete, for sure, delete ones that were, uh, were no good or uh, uh, wrong views, etc., whatever. Then, um, then I go in and uh, we'll pick a, uh, a a photo and move into the develop mode. And uh, from there, uh, one of the first things that I do is I uh, work work with the white balance using the eyedropper. In uh, this case here, I think I would uh, go with the uh, tire uh, down at the bottom to uh, to have it do a custom. Then uh, from there, I move down and I do the uh, uh, the lens correction with the uh, enabling the profile corrections and then uh, re retrieving chromatic aberration. If um, <clears throat> I often then will go and just take a look and take a shot at uh, auto transform and uh, obviously here it's not working. Um, there's a couple of different options that, that uh, can be done. The uh, um, guided is not too bad. Actually gives a pretty good, uh, pretty good view, except I think it kind of cuts it off a little um, at the bottom, so uh, I go ahead and uh, uh, would leave it um, in, in the off position. Then I go into uh, <clears throat> um, uh, detail and uh, look at uh, with the maskings, and I use the uh, option uh, masking and uh, Either take it all the way over or just uh, shed uh, shy of going all the way over. You can see it's got a couple of different uh, hot spots on there that it's working with. <coughs> um, do a little bit with the uh, sharpening. Try to keep it uh, usually below 50 and the radius usually below 2. And then as I work the details, uh, typically around 30 is what seems to work for me. Then I go back into... Uh, um, uh, the basic area, and I um, um, actually I try to work with these uh, pages all uh, drop downs all closed, and I typically will start with the highlights a little bit, and especially when I see that I have the the hot spots, you can see I've kind of removed quite a few of them there. Then I kind of look and see where my uh, shadows will do um, down underneath the car in this instance, uh, sometimes around the edges of uh, of areas, but uh, never quite go all the way. Then I uh, start working at the white, and uh, and I will do the uh, option key with the white, and uh, just get it. So there's just a few different areas, and if I start getting any color in it, then I usually know I've got some hot spots. And on the black, then I start going obviously just the opposite way, going to the left, and trying to just get it a little bit going there. Um, I I on the texture, I I don't necessarily like having it being really creamy and smooth. Um, I try to keep for more of a natural, and so I kind of go up on the texture. Clarity, the same thing. Um, can move it up and down, but usually keep a little bit up. On the dehaze, if I need to brighten it up, but you can see that does too much. Um, and so I try to get just something slightly above uh, center um, and go in it. And then sometimes if it is a little too vibrant, I will t actually take it down because you go up too high. In this case, you turn something, but I don't do very much. Saturation, I, I uh, don't use that anymore. don't use the contrast anymore. I work across with the brightness, but uh, uh, very little um, a bit going on right there. From there, you um, can go down to the uh, split toning if it's a, 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 a black and white one, but you can actually do this here in uh, um, color as well. Use the option to grab the hue and can kind of pull. I pull it till I get something that looks a little more natural, which I did right there. And the same thing with the shadows on the hue. You can pull it to get something a little more natural. You can see you can go all the way through everything. And then I drag it, kind of slowly, slowly work it until it seems a little more natural with it. From there, you can go to the effects. Um, not too uh, often am I out doing too much with the effects, but uh, if you do, you can uh, um, do, do some of the highlights. You can do... Uh, uh, the amount, you can see that you do too much there. Um, very seldom do I do uh, much here, um, but uh, just kind of do it by uh, by look. And you can make it round, or you can uh, get, cannot. 
so I don't do too much usually, as I said, with the with the effects. Um, from there, then I uh, go into uh, crop overlay the top and kind of kind of look and see what's uh, what it can do for me with the level. I, I'll hit the auto, but I very seldom do I ever use it because you can see right here that it just doesn't doesn't do it. So I just uh, command Z and undo it. But if it's a horizon, I will actually use the uh, um, uh, angle bar to do the horizon. Otherwise, you can just uh, take it and, uh, and, and adjust it um, uh, that way um, to keep as much of the subject. Or if you wanted to do something something less, and then you can keep it that it only applies to the, to the image. Um, next thing uh, I will do, depending on what paper I'm going to plan on printing it to, I will uh, uh, do it so that there's 8 by 10 um, and then uh, take take it back. Um, there is a, uh, I have 5 by 7 on here. I have uh, uh, 1 by 1. And uh, so you can go back to the original. You can shoot it as, uh, as it was shot. Um, a lot of different options. I, I, I do uh, a lot of paper um, on uh, 13 by 19 if I'm doing uh, full screen, 16 by 10, 16 by 9 for uh, panoramas. And in this case here, the two by three is what it was shot. I'll just leave it, leave it that way. Um, then I go in and uh, we'll uh, uh, zoom in and start doing the uh, spot removal, which is the next one down the line. And um, uh, go ahead and, uh, and, and zoom in up close. Um, kind of moving around. Um, we'll find one area and, uh, and, and work with it um, to, to, to go through. So you can see where the hot spot on the on it here a couple of others uh, different hot spots that can can work to uh, to uh, remove in this case but uh, typically more often I'll do blemishes or something where a blend doesn't uh, doesn't look that good and, uh, and 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 work within that now when you uh, when you do that you can work uh, where it's a clone or you can work with heel uh, like typically I'm uh, using heel only and 100% uh, opacity and uh, uh, very, very little, um, up to 20 at the most on the, uh, uh, 20 to 30 rather on the, uh, uh feathering and then, uh, kind of go through and, uh, and work it. But you can see, for example, here, um, I didn't quite get all of the, uh, the hot spot, um, with the, uh, uh spot. Uh, grabber, but you can see here if you get quite a view, quite a bit of the mark down that you can do a, a lot better. Um, and you need to try to pull the uh, the healing from uh, close to where uh, where the actual spot is. Um, if you uh, work uh, further out, you're not necessarily uh, getting uh, as a great uh, shot, and actually. Um, some of these I really uh, don't uh, care for, um, so I'll take care of those later on with uh, uh, temperature. Um, you can uh, go here into uh, work in red eye if you have red eye. Um, you can uh, work uh, if you had a uh, entire um, part of the uh, uh, photograph that you wanted to work. And you can pick what what you want. You can do you know from from uh, temperatures, tints, exposures, sharpness, dehaze, clarity. You can go all the way through uh, with a whole whole gamut. You can go into light lighting up a little bit. You can uh, you can uh, you know drag it down where you're just doing um, just the middle portion. Um, you can come in uh, at angles. All kinds of different ways that you can uh, uh, can do that. Um, next, you've got. Uh, um, option where you can uh, uh, use circle and, and grab a, an entire area to to do it with the same thing with the different charts so you can take you know you can everything but that with the exposure you can work contrast a lot of different things uh, uh, doing that I don't use that very often especially because I'm doing uh, uh, photos and then uh, the last one as you go across the day the top there's the graduated filter um, where you can go in and um, change highlights on something you can do shadows you can do your whites and blacks you know a lot of different things like with the white in this case here it can kind of 
tone down the uh, um, that the hotter spot that's there, and yet still leave it uh, 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 leave it in there. Um, from there, uh, you can go in and uh, 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 see if you need to have any any other adjustments uh, to the to the total car again with the uh, uh, some of those hot spots that are there by uh, uh, going in and, and uh, using the white you can kind of actually uh, tone them down but still leaving the uh, the light so you get the uh, uh, indication of it being in this case here being in a uh, uh, the gallery um, it's the uh, um, Dubuque County uh, uh, Fairgrounds and kind of kind of working work working across so that still doesn't lose the perspective of, of where it came from Anyway, so that's uh, primarily uh, what I would do, and then uh, um, um, take a look at uh, how I want to uh, export it. <clears throat> and either I typically go to a specific folder to go and doing something. I uh, label mine uh, in a subfolder. Um, I uh, uh, either rename it uh, typically with the original file number until I want to do something uh, different with it. Um, I like lowercase uh, uh, for the uh, um, extensions um, work in JPEG, but if you're going to do something with printing or you're going to go in Photoshop, you can do a PNG or DNG. Um, if you have to limit the size on it, uh, some of the camera club I work with, they have it uh, to 750. Um, uh, this is, I have it at 500 right now. Uh, you, I'll resize the entire picture on the long edge. Otherwise, you can, uh, you know, do width, width by height, but a lot of times I'll leave the width by height into what I'm doing with the, with the printer. Uh, resolution depending on what you want to do you can tell it not to enlarge it um, if you need to really keep it down low um, metadata mine is already all all in it I just leave all of it in and then uh, go to uh, uh, the different uh, um, watermarks if I'm doing something there and then after it, I always have it bring it up to show me in the folder working them um, so that I get an idea of, uh, of what they're doing and uh, that's uh, kind of it for uh, for me so uh, I'm going to uh, send this in and uh, um, that's the uh, um, workaround uh, that I've uh, workflow that I've uh, developed uh, uh, since I've uh, been going to uh, RimCAD, and uh, it uh, seems to improve and it seems to change uh, every time, just depending on what you're working with between a landscape or a portrait or or, or whatever.